Okay, if we consider um, equations of static equilibrium, so if we have a solid body, um, something like that, and we say that if there is a force, and we will adopt the um, sign conventions, uh, sorry, the, the, the coordinate convention, where we have y in the vertical direction, x in the direction horizontally in this in the plane of this uh, screen or paper and then a z which um, operates into the page as it were so we have a uh, body and we apply a load on that body um, which we'll represent as a, a red arrow in that direction Okay, under that um, load, this body will have a tendency to accelerate in the direction of that force, um, and that acceleration will give rise to a movement unless there is an equal and opposite reaction which keeps the body in static equilibrium. So if we have a on in the opposite direction, another force or another system of forces, set of forces, which balance out the uh, external action um, that we started with. So if we say, if we say this action, which we'll say is a force, and we'll say that this reaction, if, if those balance each other out, so if all the forces on the body are zero the, the resultant forces on the body um, then that body will not accelerate in, in any direction and will remain in static equilibrium so in the general sense then we have we say sigma which is the sum of all the forces um, is equal to zero okay and if we consider the forces in the x, y, and z direction, we can say that uh, we can deal with a system of vector equations whereby the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero, uh, the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero, and the sum of the forces in the z direction is equal to zero and because those are orthogonal axes uh, that deals with any situation that we could come across so for again that same body uh, we might exp or that body might experience uh, forces in the uh, y direction so it might experience a force in the, in the y direction and that would again give a tendency for that body to displace in that direction in the direction of the force okay so that that body would have a tendency to deflect in that manner okay and um, finally then that body if is if it is experiencing uh, loads in the z direction or forces in the z direction so if that experiences a force in that direction then that will have a tendency again to displace in that manner okay um, oops not drawn that very well um, so I've got a what have I done there? Yeah, so that, that body has a tendency to move along the uh, Z axis, which is yeah, basically, if I draw that a bit better, um, looks something like that. Okay, so those are the three vector force um, 
summations which for this body to remain in static equilibrium so for that to not move either in the z direction the, the, the y direction or in the x direction these forces and these reactions must all balance out such the sum of all the forces in the x y and z direction is equal to zero okay so that's the first uh, principle that we're looking at for static equilibrium and that's static equilibrium of forces okay and we'll come on next to look at the static equilibrium of moments about that body that mass